Hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Let's be in Chapter 3 of Part 4. The journey to the Tower of Guidance becomes more difficult as Asherah's Disciples of Order hound the travelers every step. Micaiah's ability to sense danger proves invaluable as it gives her allies advance warning of attacks by the Disciples. Thus prepared for each battle, the group keeps casualties to a minimum. As they travel south through Benion, Micaiah and her company clash repeatedly with the Disciples of Order. Eventually, they pass through the central mountains and into the lonely wastelands of the vast Grand Desert. They are sustained only by their faith that they will reunite with their companions at the Tower of Guidance. I feel like the geography that's laid out on the map is just completely fucking wrong. But I guess it's better to have a map than not have a map or something. Hmm. Why are we getting Dan occupation music? Oh, you're gonna leave the army yourself, huh? The Vice Minister says he hears the will of the gods, yet I've heard nothing of the kind in my ears. Why would the goddess choose Lucane and me? We are the ones with the most to atone for. Hmm. Looks like Senator Hetzel actually has a conscience. I can sense the flow of people's thoughts. But can you see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Makaya was born with her power. We didn't give it to her. So, see, it's part of being branded. It's actually not, not by the goddess. It's actually just by genetics. Which really makes me wonder if Soren can do the same thing, since he's half-dragon. I thought gods were perfect beings who knew everything. Gods? Perfect? Where did you get that idea? You haven't met a lot of gods, have you? Well, no, but divinity created life from nothing. Surely only perfect beings could do that. We did create life, and can do many things that you creatures of flesh can't. But that doesn't make us perfect. It just means we can make mistakes on much grander scale. We're not what you've been taught, and we're much closer to you skin wearers than some will admit. But we do make mistakes. Sometimes we make terrible mistakes. Sometimes all it takes is one emotional outburst, and the entire world is drowning underwater. Where did this sandstorm come from? Yune, you need to calm down. I wish we were perfect, then there wouldn't be any wars, and no one would have to die because of our mistakes. Yeah, that was wild. She whipped up a, a sandstorm with, with just by getting a little bit heated. So Sigrun thinks we're going to see Zelgius and Seferin. And they don't know that Zelgius is the Black Knight, because Renolf only told Ike. If 
farmhands don't meander around the desert, you slack-jawed Pegasus Rider. You say he's your brother, but there's as much resemblance between you two as between me and Skrimir. We're not related, but we're very close. Perhaps like you and Princess Leanne. What? You didn't. Yes, I can sense your emotions. I also know that you just closed up to keep me from looking in. You possess the same power as the herons? How stupid of me to let my guard down. What else did you sense? Excuse me? Did you find out anything else about me? Nosferatu, and that does what Nosferatu Dark Magic Equivalent does in the GBA ones, where it deals damage and uh, heals for that amount. But it's rather heavy for a tome, although I think she's got more than enough strength to deal with it. It's just also kind of weak. But I guess, uh, we put our Valnries away. Let's see, last time... Yeah, it's off the Whisper now, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I don't think we got any supports that I want to do, that we could do. I guess I could support her with Har. At this point, there's no reason not to. Um, don't think there's anything in the shop that we really need. So I think Scrimmier still has plenty of Olive Grass. See, we could sell some stuff, I guess. Try to sell some stuff. Don't need that. Uh, honestly, the Wo Dao. Uh, probably at this point, its damage is so low that the crit chance isn't worth it. So I think I'm going to sell it to make some money. Um, sell that, sell that. Uh, if we got a full steel lance, we might as well sell the partial. I also don't think we're going to run into very many horses from here on out. We could sell these, but I don't know, they don't sell for very much, so it might be better to hold on to them for now. Look at that, we got all these knives we could be giving to Soth. But honestly, bronze knives are a little bit crap by this point. Uh, they just gave us S rank fire magic, which I don't think uh, does anything for us. Yeah, so we might as well sell that as well. There's a lot of stuff I'm just going to sell because uh, there's just like no way for me to use it. Or it's not going to be very useful. There aren't any more Fog of War maps. So I saved that for almost no reason, I guess. Okay. We wanna... Oh, she can't even use Nosferatu yet because it's S-level light magic, right? <laughs> yeah, she's she's barely she's barely got an A. Oh, her resistance is capped. So that's nice, at least. She's still got Paragon on, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so... Th let's see here. How about we go and buy you some actual proper throwing knives? Silver knife would probably be the best, but I think he'd make do with steel knives uh, just because they're cheaper. I'm gonna try to conserve a little bit of money. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me put that coin in the convoy. Marsha, we want to make sure Marsha has some good weapons. Um, Storm Sword and Steel Blade's fine. So is the Brave Lance and the Spear. Uh, I should probably use Silver Lances. Uh, but I 
think that the Steel Great Lance would be more cost effective. Because it's, it's actually one point stronger. She doesn't really need the hit rate. And she's got more than enough strength to make up for the weight. So. I think that's all good on her part. Now she doesn't have any healing items. So I guess I'll... Uh, let's see. Hey, Neoluchi, I like you. How about you take and hold on to... This javelin, I guess. Okay, that's probably enough preparation. Uh, actually, here. Neoluchi, give me that javelin that has more uh, things on it. And uh, that'll be fine. Okay, and you, Soth, I want you to give Scrimir this pure water. And I want Scrimir to go and take a concoction. Yeah, okay. And support wise, Scrimir can't support anybody because he wasn't near anybody. Wow, like, no one can support anyone. I've, I've screwed the pooch if I want to get Leanne married to Naysala, which actually I kind of don't. You can get them married if you try hard enough. Oh snap, Yune was responsible for flooding all the other continents. How about that? That's probably why she got sealed up. Called a dark god. Uh oh. Oh shit, there's a desert full of them and Lacane's there. False Apostle. Oh, Sigrun cares. The Apostle of Binyan shall be the firstborn daughter of each generation of the line of Altina, first Empress. She will give voice to the goddess. She will pass judgment, give prophecy, and protect her people and their lands. Naki, you have never once heard the voice of the goddess, have you? Oh, what a what hysterical coincidence. That's just what the Senate has been telling the people for years now. Apostle Sanaki is too young to hear the goddess. Give her more time. How funny that the lie you've been living is the same lie we've been telling. No one ever told you about your older sister, did they? She was the true apostle. I had a sister? She died before you were born, assassinated along with Asa Apostle Misaha by the Heron clan. We shall settle this in the ancient way in a battle to the death. No, well, no problem. Now, what's actually kind of funny is you can reach Lacane on this map, and you can kill him, but he'll just retreat, so it's stupid. But the chances of reaching him are pretty low. Uh, it takes some pretty good RNG, and honestly, the only person who can really do it is Skrimir. Um, but there's issues due to his gauge, and uh, just, you're honestly just better off... Uh, not not trying to do that. Um, also, this is a desert map, and there's a lot of hidden treasure. So I'll probably pause for a minute to look for the treasure. Also, just like in the previous game, you might be wondering where Stefan is. And in one of these tiles, I think it's this one, uh, you need to move Makaya onto it. He will come out and uh, be super happy and, like... Uh want to, like, get it on like Donkey Kong. Anywho. Let's look over the map real quick. So this guy's got a Purge book. These guys next to Lacane have L Silence and L Sleep. And honestly, I probably should have brought a couple of Recover Staffs. Um, 
because they've got really high magic, and the, you notice the range, 1 to 30, they can sleep anyone on the map. And so, the person they're most likely to go for, uh, let's see, Har's only got 12, Screamer's only got 9, he'll have 18 way shifts. Uh, so yeah, the, the, they'll likely sleep Edward, which isn't that big of a deal, but it could get Edward killed. So, uh, yeah, not so sure what I want to do about that, other than probably stuff Edward into a corner. Uh, Scrimmere, we're going to go ahead and move forward and, like, that goose stone. And then, um, let's see, I guess we'll view forward and shift. And then we'll move her here and sing for them. And then we'll move Skrimir right here and use Pure Water. And now he will not be the target of sleep, which is pretty important. Uh, and honestly, oh, I can't reach with Har. Well, we'll move Har, like, here, and, uh, next turn we'll get a Pure Water. I'm pretty sure that the Hell Sleep guy will go for Edward first because of the, having the lowest resistance. Uh... I think, oddly, the Elf Silence guy isn't going to try to silence anyone that can use magic because their resistance is too high. He has no chance to actually... Oh, there's one of the treasures we were looking for, the Dragon Flow skill. Makes all of your attacks triple effective against dragons. It is the bee's a knees. Let's put that Storm Sword to work, shall we? To work at point blank range so she has a chance to activate stun. Now you gotta watch out though, there's a lot of crossbows and a lot of bows in the desert here. Like, see these guys? Fortunately, they can only move two spaces, but uh, yeah, you wanna be a little bit careful. And uh, you don't want to try to, like, keep Micaiah and Soth and everybody, like, still up there in the north. You want to get out of there, because eventually, I think around, like, turn maybe seven, uh, some Draco Knights, like, three Draco Knights are just going to teleport in in the north. So, uh, we do want to keep an eye on this Draco Knight. We don't want to get Micaiah in on his stanky cheese sauce but uh and she can't quite reach him that's okay though we don't we don't need her to reach him and also just as before um the um Oh, Numida is here. Hmm. Um, just as before, what was I going to say? I don't even remember what I was going to say. Nice, she landed both hits. And got a level up. Good strength, Marcia. Thank you. Damn. Oh, you're not fast enough to double. That's right, I didn't get you any speed. Oh, there's that purge. It's okay, though. Scrimmel will be fine. He's not invincible, but he's tough enough 
with his extremely high HP. That even not doubling these guys, uh, I think it's worth it for the chip EXP. Plus, it'll prevent us from getting over eager, I suppose. Bring it on! She can stun your ass too. Oh, you missed. Stun his ass, Marsha. Okay, fine. You didn't stun his ass, but that's okay. Now, you see how beefy the enemy's getting? Uh, 50 HP on, on our enemies, you know? It's pretty... You need some beefy units. You need some beefy units to take on these maps. You might think to take Nasala to take out the Purge book. And that's valid, but there's a crossbow guy, like, right there. So you gotta, like, sort of... Scoot up on it, and then... Hit it and can't throw away. Oh, sleep guy went for Har first. Oh, but he missed. That's one. That's one. Uh, one one use of the sleep staff gone to waste. And I guess I got a view on Marcia. Give me that pure water. Uh, you can take this hand axe that I'm never gonna use. Then we stick you over here. Uh, we move Scrimmer like right here, I guess, and use grass. And then, as far as what we do here, see, so Sigrun can reach all the way over here. She cannot double these archers. These archers are too fast. Kai can do 21 damage to that one. Tanith can do... 13. Marsha can probably kill one herself with the Brave Lance. Or with... I don't know, Steel Blade? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Steel Great Lance? <laughs> also, no. Um... Okay, uh, hmm. You can go that far, so that's kind of nice. Um, I guess what we'll do is... I guess hope that Sigrun does a... Hmm. Well, we gotta take out this Draco Knight first. Maybe we just... Maybe instead of trying to uh, overreach, we just do some other stuff first. Like, let's look at these guys' range, shall we? Okay. Let's look at these guys' range as well. Oh yeah, that's good enough, that's good enough. Drop a train on him, Sanaki. move back one and use the physics staff on Scrimmere. Because he has lost the Valnery's worth of HP. So he, he could use some stuff. And then... Uh, no, just keep moving these boys on down steadily. And you'll go ahead and just sing for Jess Micaiah so she can move up. Soth will move forward, and Makaya will move forward. And I think with the Purge book, I'll have her uh, drop a train on this close one real quick. Oh, she missed. Wow, okay. Fuck me, I guess. 
can't kill him. Uh... Let's see. Oh, she doesn't have a... Really? Could y'all stop missing, please? Very brief. Okay. Let's trade real quick. Give me that. Oh, you can't even hurt him. Wow. Okay. Um, in that case, we gotta kill him. So, we'll use the Brave Lance. And we gotta kill him because he's, he's able to hit Sanaki, and I'm pretty sure he can one-shot her. So... Yay! Conserved uses! Still got a solid move. Okay, let's look for the crossbow guy that's over here. There's, there's a regular bow guy here. He's steadily dangerous, but... Okay, so I think what we can do is... Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We can just move right here. And wait a minute. Oh no! Two ranged swords! That can't even hurt me! But they can deplete my gauge. Normally I give Skrimir Paragon, I think. I see him as a Paragon target. That way he has maximum chance of becoming as good as the other lions by the time we get them. But quite honestly, you don't need to do that. You can give Paragon to anyone else because uh, those other lions are just automatically as good as you can make scrim air, so. It's kind of sad, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Ooh, it's a fire mage. Definitely glad I healed Skrimir now. Is it a wind mage? Ow, jerk. How dare you pick on my low res. It's actually not that low now that I've used the pure water. Makes me wonder who the sleep staff's gonna go for. I would assume Edward, but I don't know. I supported him with the Marcia, and I haven't kept them beside one another at all. <laughs> Although the reason for that is I had to get that pure water from Skrimir. Totally unnecessary, but I love it. He's got cap strength. This is as hard as hard can hit with a hand axe. Swing. I guess they're going for broke, trying to kill him. It's not working out too well for them. Although it is an admirable attempt. I 
Not to mention savings from here some gauge. Look at all those crossbows moving on up. Yep, going for Edward. And they succeeded. And that's okay, we'll just have Nolan rescue him and keep moving. Alrighty then, let's see what we do about these guys, shall we? move how far? Okay, that's nice to know. Okay, so we only need one one thing of Purge. So I'm going to use Purge on this guy, and hopefully this time actually land it. And Sanaki is... Yeah, going to risk it and kill him. Here comes my game over. She's gonna miss that 92, I just know it. Although how you would miss dropping a fireball like three times, four times, five times the size of a man on a man, I shall never know. But I'm pretty sure it could happen. So now, go ahead and move her around here and do this number. And Makaya comes around here and uses Thani. By the way, I think this is the last map she's going to be a light sage for. Actually, this is, yeah, this is the last map she's going to be a light sage for. So get her as much EXP on this map as possible. Um, Mr. Steel Poleaxe here has got 41 attack power. He can one-shot her. Ooh, that's bad. About Makaya. Can he one-shot Makaya? No, he can't one-shot Makaya. But he can double her, which is equally bad. So what we'll do here is put Har into action. And then we'll put Marsha into action. And that should take care of business. If you think about it, these uh, these Dragon Masters, they're base level. They're basically base level Har. That's how strong they are. All right. Will you miss two seventy threes? I hope not. Thank you. Okay. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Ooh, nice dodge. Unexpected, but nice. Okay, so Edward's asleep, so we're going to rescue him, and then start moving south. And this Purge guy, he's got to go.
Thank you, Wheeling Colby. And then we're gonna get you the fuck out of Dodge because we do not want uh, to have to deal with so many bows. But as far as Scrimmere goes, uh, we'll move. I think over here would be fine. And, uh. How much case you got, buddy? 15. So he can be attacked eight times, and he won't be because they can't catch up. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and use a concoction. And we'll grass next turn with him. Oh snap, a killer bow. Ugh. I hate when base level Har has ranged weapons. Good stuff, good stuff, Nisala, good stuff. Okay, so now that he's back at nearly full HP, um, we could just, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't think the bosses move. I could be wrong, but let's just put Screamer down here and grass up. You might be wondering when is Lacan going to leave, and it's probably either at the end of this phase or the next phase. You notice he just has the real orb staff. He's not actually here to do battle. And like I said, you you can actually reach him and you can actually defeat him. It's just it, it won't. It doesn't actually do anything for you. It's kind of sad, but it's the way the cookie crumbles. I mean, he is worth bossy XP. Uh, and I have, I've run Scrimmer down there before to do specifically that, to take Lacane out. Um, but usually what winds up happening is Scrimmer makes it there, takes Lacane out, then runs out of gauge. So, like, yeah. And Isala, he can do it, but he has to dot. Like, these crossbow guys start moving south, and then he gets, like, pincered between these two bowmen, these, you know, four bowmen. Uh, the purge guy and these three like dudes. It's it's bad. It's bad news. Oh, we found another one of the treasures. How about that? All right. Let's get a mo let's mosey on, shall we? Let's heal up Har with mids. And we don't want to put. I think this is the tile we get Stefan on, so we don't want to put Har there. Um, I think what we might do is we might go ahead and move Har all the way down here and take out this, uh, yeah, take out this bishop with the physics staff. I probably could have flown Har down to take out, uh, Lacane, but, uh, we do his low res, the elf sleep staff. You know, he might have gotten slept. So, uh, it's a little bit sad, but it's the way stuff happens sometimes. And actually, I don't think his HP is capped, but it could be. His HP cap is, is like, deceptively low. It's a little bit weird. I could use that to kill you. Uh, wish you had a few more strength points, Marsha. Right, let's do that. Let's steal Great Lance, this guy. Excellent.
Yay! Just want to make sure, is there anyone who can actually reach uh, any sort of crazy attack on Leanne if I... Oh, there's a purge there. Let's see, you've got nine movement, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. So here's what we do. Sing for these ladies. Then we get you the hell out of there. And we rescue drop you because rescue drops are cool. And then I think... Realistically... Marsha could take these guys out with a uh, mixture between the javelin and the... Uh, Spear. Yay! Get a strength. Thank you. And I guess Sonaki still has to move. Oh no, Bowman shooting at Scrimmere. Whatever will Scrimmere do? Ah, what a fearsome beast! Only the Dark God can create such a monstrosity. What's wrong, little Bjork? Frightened? You cannot look upon me. You cannot hope to defeat me. I guess they're going all in on depleting Scrimmere's gauge. Unfortunately for them, I don't think that's going to bother Skrimir. His gauge depletes far too slowly for that to happen. Although, fire magic really is kind of the bane of his existence. Fortunately, we got Har down here flying a little bit of distraction. All right. I was hoping you'd get at least one of them. No, oh, he's going to double you thanks to resolve. <laughs> Better than nothing. But you're getting awfully low on HP there, Scrammer. I think you're a game over condition, so please do not game over me here. Although it's my own fault if you do, I suppose. I think 
with Resolve active, Skrimmer has 39 speed, so... Yeah. He's actually turned into quite a monster. Now. Inconsequential, bitch. Sit down. Dragon Master comes to get his hash settled by Nysala. Nysala said, I don't even want this drag rank, bitch. I just crit you. Ooh, a killer axe. Just think, if that guy had gotten lucky, he could have actually done 33 damage to the Naysala. If he'd gotten lucky. Crossbow guys are kind of splitting up. Ugh, they're so powerful. Are we destined to perish here? Swing. And the game gives you a get out, a very slow get out of jail free card. I say very slow because it is very slow and it sucks and it's stupid and I hate him. But, uh. Anyway, let's see. As far as what we could do right here, I believe we can move right here and then we can heal Scrimere. Oh, I was one tile off. That's not... No bueno. No bueno. Okay. Um... Hmm. Well then, uh... Let's grab you. And move it back. And... Take you. And drop you. So it's either, if it's not that tile, then it's either this tile or that tile. I'll, I'll look it up uh, shortly, I think. For now, though, I think what I want to do is I want to move... How much defense do you got? 18? You got 43 HP. Well, Skrimmer won't be able to kill you, so... Uh... Yes, what we'll do with Scrimmer is we will run him over here, I guess. I don't know. And uh, use some grass. And then we'll have Har uh, take care of this guy. And yeah, now that the Black Knight's appeared, uh, basically his AI is going to tell him to just go around killing. And uh, very, very slowly, he will end the map. Uh, he becomes basically an inset limit to the map. It's a little bit weird, but that's what it is. So. Honestly, if he deals with the pest crossbow unit, then I don't mind. Let's see, that's the wyvern, so I don't care about it. Just to make sure. Okay, I'm moving Kai down here again. There's a car. All right, more speed. Speed is really Micaiah's Achilles heel. Uh, and then with Mr. Wheeling Corby here, we'll kill again. 
but a kill the bowman this time. See, we're sort of slowly, methodically tearing the map apart. And uh, it's working quite well. You don't have to take this map, try to take this map fast or anything. That's more than likely to lead you to multiple reset headache. Um, yeah, I don't think they can reach him right there. I believe there's a white gem right there. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, let's end the turn, and I'm going to open up my laptop and look this up so I can fi make sure I find the treasure. There's a double S rank dagger in the sand here, and that's the only place to get it as well. So if you want Soth to have his best uh, weapon, you'll need to get it. Radiant Dawn, Grand Desert, map. No, jerk. I'm gonna have Har settle your hash. Alright, no, that's the Path of Radiance map. I, I've almost memorized that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's some Reaper cards that I can get. I was right about the location of the White Gem. Okay, and the square that I need for Stefan is one square south of where I had thought that it was. I don't think I lost anyone while I was looking away, did I? Alright, Nesala. You killed that base level R. Some crazy power escalation when you think about it, like how, how fucking powerful Har was in part 2 and like now he's just a regular enemy more or less. I definitely want to get those. Alright, take out those crossbow fuckers. They don't get to see his animations because he's a green unit. And you can talk to him with Makaya and so, but um... He won't, uh... I'm surprised those two that moved towards him didn't attack him. Maybe they saw what happened to those other guys. Okay, so... We're gonna move here. And we're going to... Oh no, we've only got one purge left. Uh, we're gonna heal Skrimir again. And this should be the tile that we get to on. Yep. Hello, how can I help? What? Who? You and I were born under the same fate. Same fate? You also carry the mark? Indeed. I don't know who you are or why. Who you are fighting or why. But attacking my kid in the desert is the same as attacking me. I will not let them leave this place alive. Oh, yeah. And he comes in... A total fucking house. And the Vague Cotty is the SS rank sword in this game. 20 might, 95 hit, 5 crit. Much better than it was in the last game. And Stefan is pretty much the same deal as he was in the last game. He is an absurdly powerful fighter with an absurdly powerful sword and his mastery skill. So it's all quite nice. Let's see. Uh, you can kill that guy. It would, would probably help. That guy can't reach Micaiah, so yeah, go ahead and kill go ahead and kill this fire mage that's been the floor on your side, Skamir. Yay! Now, I thought the cane would have left by now, so maybe it's based on proximity to him? I'm not exactly sure.
but I do know that I still have treasure to get, so... Let's see... The, instead of having regions like in the last game, um, these actually all have precise tiles, which kind of sucks, but I guess it makes it harder to get everything. that. Good job, Har. Wait, I don't remember making him use the Horse Slayer. That's what I get for looking at, at maps. While also looking at shit, let's see. So there's a Lagoose gem on. Let's see, it's it's on this row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where he was standing. Ah oh, shit! Now the Lagoose gem is amazing. Um. Yeah, it's basically a Lagoose stone, but it lasts for the whole fight. So, in an upcoming situation, any of the Lagoose characters that you wanted to use, possibly, um, they were, uh... Or, th they're, um... Go ahead and use up this spear. Uh, any of the non-loyal Lagoos, they can basically use Lagoos gems to more or less be like, behave like a royal. And if their stats are high enough, then they basically are royals. And ooh, another nice level up. Oh, didn't get the item that's there. That's okay. We'll get it someday, somehow, some way. I'll have her keep moving down here, because Makai's got some staff work to do. Yep. Yep, so it's proximity to him. He runs away. I thought it was turn count, but I guess it's proximity. Oh no! Whatever will Marsha do? The answer was not a whole lot. Oh, jerk. Oh, snap. Tempest Blade. Har said, I will not be denied the kill. I could have sworn I had him use the hand axe, though, and not, not the horse slayer, but I guess maybe I was looking real fast while looking back and forth between this treasure map. About to reach the hour point. Scrimmer, you done good, you done good. The goal basically at this point is to get all the treasure before we kill everything. And we've actually gotten almost all of it. We just got the, the dagger. A white gem and a Reaper card you get still. Actually, it's a Damon card, it would appear. 
Dude, you are one away from your speed cap and one away from your skill cap. Could you just go ahead and cap them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hell silence. Oh, it missed. Is he using a lance? Is he using the javelin that we gave him? Why? I don't understand. I didn't think that the Black Knight's AI would ever tell him to switch weapons. What is this? I guess it told him to switch weapons to take advantage of the weapon triangle. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, well, I guess I'm here for it. I don't know. It'd be nice to get soft to where um, where Marcia is. I knew it. I knew that if, even if the end of the world came, you'd be the last one left standing. Your faith is touching. Well, you and the commander. Commander Ike will defeat you, you know. You can't run forever. You are correct. We will meet soon meet again. Shouldn't you sound more worried about that? You sound as if you're looking forward to fighting Commander Ike again. Don't delude yourself. You can't beat him. We shall see. It's, it's extra funny because Soth's... Uh, Faith and Ike in this particular file is even more well placed because remember, I actually had Ike beat Black Knight at the river. So, uh, yeah. Critical hit! Ooh! Good Tanaki! Look at all those arcane glyphs and runes and things. Delicious. Okay, so we got a crossbow guy right here, and he could probably kill Marsha, I think. Yep, he could definitely one shot Marsha, so Marsha needs to get the hell out of there. Um, let's see. What's your gauge looking like? Five? Wow, okay. Um, how far can you move? Oh, excellent. Okay. Ooh, another speed. I'll take it. Oop, I just got a text from my girlfriend. I'm going to move Scrimmer here and use some grass. And then... Okay, that'll work. We will have... Okay, so... Oh man, he's... That, that crossbow guy is within reach of where the white gem is. Sad panda. I guess we'll just have uh, Marcia kill this guy real quick, maybe? Maybe not. Probably not. Either way, she'll retreat. She'll go, like, here, I guess. Nice, why? Well, have Nacella pick off another guy. That's what he's been doing this entire time. He's been picking off from the sidelines. Ooh! Quite a nice level up there, Nacella. You must want to be given to barn run for his money or something. As far as Har goes, uh, I think we'll take out... Uh, yeah, we'll take out this archer and then we'll fly off to the east or west to uh, take out the crossbow guy.
There you go, Har. Come here with some more EXP. Yeah, she gets 50 EXP with Paragon. <laughs> Good grief. I wish her staff wasn't capped. Okay, I think that's... Well, a Black Knight would kill that guy, so... Might as well steal ourselves some EXP instead of leaving it to Black Knight. Very nice level there, Commander of the Holy Yard. Yeah, give Scrimmer another EXP. There was one time, one playthrough I did, I brought all three lions uh, with me to the end of the game. Uh, <laughs> it was, it didn't work out as well as you might think. So none of them have two range. I mean, it worked out in the end, it just didn't work out as well as you might think. Alright. Oh, hey! My girlfriend arrived. I'm almost done. I love you, lady. Oh, no speed. Sad state of affairs. Bless you. Fed. And not getting any speed. But very nearly capped. Okay, let's see. Run away there. Har's gotta come over here and deal with this crossbow guy. Cause wyverns are what keep you sane when there's too many crossbows on the field. For a second, I thought that almost said soul rather than stun. Is he standing on my 
Okay, no, he's not. Good stuff. There it is. The double S rank dagger. South can't even use it yet. Because he just got promoted. And hasn't seen... He, like... South really gets the short end of the stick. He gets promoted right before this desert map. And then, like, in the desert... Within the, the confines of the desert, unless you take it super slowly, uh, he is never going to see very much combat. Surgically removing the bowman. Gotta love it. Oh, he's halfway to SS Beak. Let's see. Uh, so we just got the base lord, so we don't gotta worry about that. Just could go and try to get the card. Nope, no, no luck there. Have our Pegasus just try to get us the, the last bit of treasure. Something you can do to uh, prevent the Black Knight from uh, killing the entire map is you can surround him uh, since his movement in the desert is only two. If you can actually get uh, like six units on, you know, like two units south of him, two units to the east of him, two units to the west of him, he'll only be able to move north, which will move him away from the enemies. Uh, which he won't, I don't think he will do, so he'll just stand still. But you can kind of box him in and prevent him from moving. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, can you kill this guy? No, you can't, but Leanne can make you, so. Or we can feed him to Micaiah. Which, honestly, is probably what I'm going to do. Ooh, you got a speed! Wow, Skrimir. You must want me to use you or something. Ah, the Makaya cleanup crew. Come on, lady, get, get your speed. See, if we do this, right, the Black Knight will have no choice but to move. I guess he could move here or here, but it'll slow him down slightly. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the White Gem. Oh, no luck there. Did he come on asleep? Yeah, he did. Huh. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just those cards to get now. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, okay. Um...
Wait. No luck still, wow. Okay. Um Seems legit. Ooh, yes. That's all that matters. She can still get defense, but I think she's kept on everything else. Yep. She literally... I think she's literally kept on everything except speed and defense. So, as long as she gets some more speed, that would be most welcome. I actually... The last time I played through the game, I had a freakishly speedy Makaya, and she actually capped her speed at, like, level 12 Light Sage or something. It was ridiculous. Try to buff up some support of Leanne, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Man, he's got an uncomfortably high amount of crit chance. Not to mention the speed. Nice work, Skrimir. Works for me. Mm, that also works for me. Time to melt the XP on two defenseless bishops. I forgot that Leanne could talk to him. So I think she'll have. I'm pretty. Sure, what? What? Okay, whatever. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure next turn uh, some wyverns are gonna come in from the north.
We get some dagger rank and some 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 sort of combat action in for so. Might not be glamorous, but he could use all the help he could get. Sigur and move off of that, and maybe it's not move onto it. Oh, oh, still no luck. Okay. Uh, it's okay if I don't get those cards, but it would be nice if they would just give themselves to me. Let's see. Would be more EXP. Probably just physicking. Mesala would give her as much EXP as hitting one of these bishops. Or more. I don't know. <laughs> and let's put Stefan right there just to get in the Black Knight's way one more time. Uh, and then as far as that all goes, I guess we could just Vigor her and have her heal south. With Mint. And she's level capped, so... Alright, she got speed again. Fantastic, this is actually a pretty damn good Micaiah. And she'll promote next map. So that'll be... Well, not next map, but... Next map that we use her on, she will promote, so... As far as those cards go, I guess we'll try to pick them up with Nesala. I don't know if he has like a thief trigger to himself, but... I'm actually glad that you missed. Now we will, once again, get in the way of the Black Knight. I'm pretty sure when you miss an attack, you actually still get weapon rank. So, soft missing is actually a good thing. Uh, it's also a good thing because it gets him chip EXP. set you down there first, and then we'll rescue you, and move away, and then we'll move you there, and still have no luck, wow, it's getting kind of ridiculous, I guess we could fly, use our flyers to kind of jerry-rig south up there real quick to get it. You don't need to waste any more physics staff charges. Those are mildly precious. Oh, there's those Draco Knights I was telling you about. Yeah, if you were taking the map ultra slow and like waiting for the enemy to come to you or whatever, I guess that's what these guys are for. But they're the last reinforcements to re to appear that I know of, so. They're not anything too too special. OK. 
Okay, so let's go over here and give you some knife rank, I guess. I wonder who that last wyvern will go for between Skrimir and Mesala. Of course, no matter who he goes for, I guess the map's gonna end early since I attacked. Well, I say early, but more like an hour and a half in. Skrimir doesn't double, which I'm pretty sure he will. Uh, okay, map's over. No cards for us. The card I was trying to get was like a five-use item called the Daemon card, and I think it has like a magic attack of 30 or something. It's like how you can make a heron actually kill somebody. Sir Knight, how good to see you. You always save me from danger. Maiden, I have a favor to ask of you. Will you come with me? My master awaits you at the Tower of Guidance. The Tower of Guidance? If I may ask, who is your master? You will see when we get there. Please take my hand. We will be there in the blink of an eye. I can't. I can't leave everyone behind. We have to go to get to the tower together. Your allies will turn to stone when the light of judgment next shines. I do not wish for you to see it. The light will strike again? When? Please tell me. Maiden, I will come for you again. Make up your mind by then. Dun dun dun. And the last apostle was assassinated, and I was not yet born. Binyon went a long time without central authority. The people were frightened, both of the murder and the power vacuum. Without the goddess's voice, Binyon was lost. Sifrin once told me that when the Ascendant confirmed my appointment as the next apostle, it was as if a sigh of relief sounded across the country. It's true, I still remember your coronation, the first time I ever saw you, Empress Sanaki. With your tiny hand in Sephirin's, you stumbled as you walked. A little girl, very, barely visible in the grand hallway of the cathedral, was a moving sight. I remember as well. The Empress stepped on her cape and tripped a total of five times. Tanith, that hardly seems appropriate. I think the country's sigh of relief was unwarranted. I cannot hear the goddess's voice. I never could. This has perplexed me for years. At first I thought my youth was to blame, but this excuse grows thinner each year. There is no clear age at which previous apostles heard the goddess for the first time, but all of them had heard by now. If I am not the true apostle, have I betrayed my people, even unknowingly? You two are my most trusted friends. How would you feel about me if I were not the apostle? Be honest with me. You would like an honest answer? Very well. It would change nothing. You thought our allegiance was to the office of the Apostle. Well, you were wrong. Even from a young age, you have been working with Lord Sephirin to fight the Synod on the behalf of the people. Our loyalty lies with you, Empress Sanaki. You will always be our Empress. Do not forget that. Aww. Sure is touching. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed it.